Okay, so I got the alternator out of the vehicle. It's pretty simple. I just disconnected the battery, uh, loosened the belt, got the belt off of the alternator. Uh, there's one, two, three bolts holding it. And then there's your connections. You have one for your uh, light, you have uh, main connection, and you have the terminal going to the battery. Okay, so that's out. I uh, First thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take the um, take this pulley off of here. It can be done other ways, but the easiest is if you can get access to some air. If you don't have air yourself, you can take it to a local garage, and it's just a second with air. It'll, it should come right off. And that basically, the the idea is if you're trying to turn this with a wrench, you know, you either have to hold this pulley really solid, but the air impact overcomes, you know, the even though that this is spinning here, that you can should be able to get it out. So let's just try this here. Okay, here we go. Hold the pulley and give it a... And as simple as that. And there it is. No, this is not... No, that's not even tight on there. That comes off really easy. There's the pulley. Not in the washer, I'll just set those aside. Alright, and then, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark an orientation on this. So, basically, so I'm just going to mark it right across here. So that way I put it back in the same uh, clock position. So let me just get something here. I just I could just put a mark on it with a screwdriver. Anything that I know where it came from. So there's a little valley right here, so I'm just gonna, gonna put a mark right there. And I'm gonna put a mark right there. Make that a little deeper. There. And I'll I'll remember that those little you see they're deep enough. They're not gonna wash off by just uh cleaning the oxidation off of this aluminum. So that's, gonna I'm going to remember where they go. And I think it's, yeah, eight millimeter. And let's see here, there's, so there's one, two, three eight millimeter bolts. So let's just see how that looks. Oh, they're not tight at all. I'm kind of surprised this this the bearings are doing making noises in this. It's only about it's about five years old. Uh, I put it in myself. I bought it. Uh, the other one was shot, and yeah, five years doesn't seem very long for an alternator. I mean, it's it, the electrical end of it seems to work fine, but uh, it's making a noise. Okay, so I'm not going to torture you with that. You see what I'm doing here, I'm getting these out. Now, you wouldn't believe, I've got all kinds of ball-peen hammers, but the first hammer I grabbed today was this old, you know, this is not this is not the hammer you really want to use, but if you... Okay, I'm gonna put a little uh, liquid wrench, some type of penetrating oil, just down in, around this, uh, this frame here. Let that run in and turn it over. Let's see if I can get some down in down in the other side. Okay. And also back to the old weird hammer here, but just some light tapping here. Nothing nothing hard, just tap around the sides like that. Right on that. This is where those two uh, casings come together there. And a little bit here. Just to loosen up any corrosion that might be happening between these two surfaces. Just like that. Okay. You know, not hard, not hard. Just, you know, just I could hit myself as hard as I'm hitting that. Do no damage. Just little taps. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do, this is, this this ring is free, but it, it's only about, you know, this long. And, uh, but the, the rest of this assembly has to come out of this case, this back case. And it's hung up in here, and this is uh, the reason for some of this tapping. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to let this sit overnight. I'm going to, I'm going to put some more uh, penetrating fluid in there. And I'm going to actually run it down from the back. I'm just going to run it in these, uh, so it, oh, I'm getting low on this penetrating fluid. There you go. So I'm just going to run it in the back there, so maybe if it sits overnight like that, it'll come out a little easier. There. Yeah, I don't want to break it. A little more right there. I'll go all the way around with it. See, put some more in there. Ah, sometimes a good soak will make a difference. So I'll just leave that there and call it a day. And uh, I'll check back tomorrow and see what happens. Okay, we'll see you then. Okay, so it's the next day. I let that soak overnight. And I got a little ahead of the video because I tried this to see if uh, an idea that I came up with was, was going to work. So what I did was I took um, the three bolts. And now, of course, the this cover's off, right? So that cover's off. So I've just taken the bolts and put them back in here. And how you get this out of the casing is is more about tapping these bolts and give it a, a little bit of an impact so the cover comes off of this. It's more about driving this off than pulling this out. Because you see this top piece is is kind of loose, you know, from, from here. And that's normal, but and the only thing that's tying this to that it, are the electrical connections. So you, what you've got to do is just sort of gently hold this and then tap these repeatedly, just go around and uh, found my ball peen hammer. So I'll just uh, walk you through what I did. So I had three bolts in there, so I just tapped it. Tapped like that, like that, like that. And it started to come off. Of course, I hit it a little harder than that when I was doing it, but... And then that, that separates. And we can take the, take the bolts out. that is and there's the case so here we are and uh, you'll have noticed that the rotor wasn't in there I had the ro I got the rotor already sitting in the vise but it wouldn't have matter it just sits in here and it sits it's, it's in here it doesn't interfere with this at all so the rotor stays in there this comes apart okay and now this is I, I was having trouble with this um, and it was uh, show you the part that was see here you can see inside of this case see how it's shiny and clean here most of the way around it's shiny and clean until you get to this spot and this is where it was jammed up and I looked at the orientation of how it sits in the vehicle and it sits uh, pretty much let me see here it sits pretty much like that and this is where the water would lay so any of the moisture would lay in the bottom and it caused corrosion there made it hard to come out and you'll see here on the on here see that's that that the matching part so that's where it was jammed up and the other the rest of it's clean see so it, it took soaking it overnight and um, and that little trick with the put the three I put the three bolts in the in the cover and, and knocked it off so I got that out and I'm going to clean this up I've got some emery cloth I'm going to clean that up and I'm going to clean up uh, the rust on here and okay so the other thing I did was I got the the bearing off the end here I was looking for one of my pullers and I couldn't find something small enough so what I did was I just used a, a screwdriver under here and I, I tapped it from this side and I tapped it from that side and I tapped it from that side and, and it just came off really easy so I've got that out of the way 
and the uh, the slip ring uh, here has got a little chip on it but that doesn't matter because that's part of what we're doing here we're going to put a new slip ring in here uh, I bought a kit and it came with the slip ring and it came with it came with a new new brush holder okay and I'll show you in a minute that goes into the voltage regulator and also in the kit was two new bearings front and back okay so anyway in the cover here okay this is another job we got to do uh, there's the bearing in here and there's a bearing retainer and what I did was last night I also sprayed these bolts with uh, penetrating oil I used um, liquid wrench I had but uh, I, some WD-40 there I may have even sprayed it with that okay and these are eight millimeter I'm just gonna see if they come out let's try a little bit gently I don't want to break them off it seems like they're coming try this one Oh, that one's a little more difficult. I'm gonna see if I can get these ones out first. Yeah, they're coming right out. Yeah, those those come right out. There's one. There's two. Now, this one seems a little tighter. I'm gonna try just tap it a little bit gently. I don't know if that's going to make any difference or not. Let's try this. Let's see. Oh, that doesn't want to come out. Okay, I'm going to put a little heat on that. Just a second. Okay, I'm going to put a little heat on that. Let's try. Get a propane torch here. Warm that up a bit. Sometimes a little heat will make all the difference, or sometimes it won't. Get warm. I'll try a little from the back. It's pretty warm. Oh, it's either breaking off or it's coming. I don't know. I think it's coming actually. Oh, it felt really soft there for a second. Uh, I think it came out. It came out. Look at that. Very good. Remember not to touch it with my fingers. It's probably still pretty hot. Okay. Now we can uh, tap that bearing out from the back. Just gently, a little bit. Each side, back and forth. I can feel it moving. Yeah, it's going. Almost. Go left. I got a bee here. Great big bumblebee. There. And there it is. There it is, came right out. Yeah. And you can see that same pattern of rust actually is I can see here it's it's see the rust was on the bottom of the alternator inside and it's also on the bottom of where the bearing set too. So any water that was getting in there was just laying of course laying down is the lowest part. So when I put that back together I'm gonna when I clean that up, I'm gonna put a little little smear of grease on there to help prevent that for the next time. Okay, just a second, we'll get to the next step. And I'm also going to run a little sandpaper in the, inside the bearing housing here. Or I should say emery cloth inside the, a little bit of emery cloth inside the bearing housing, get that rust out of there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this um, the slip ring so we can put a new one in. So what you do is you take a pair of uh, side cutters and just cut it off, cut it off right there, and cut it off right here, like that. Okay, 
and you don't want to disturb whatever's going down there you want to keep don't don't yank on this don't yank on that going down so that this should be free now that's broken off okay now let's see if I can pry that up off there I'm just gonna come under it gently with a screwdriver here see if it comes up it's starting to move see it's starting to come up there go around all the sides a little more I don't want to bend anything a little more and there it is and there it is now I take a bit of emery cloth or sandpaper whatever you may have just going to clean up these connections here so we can they'll be nice and clean for resoldering the new slip ring holder Just uh, don't push too hard on it. You don't want to bend anything. It's starting to smarten it up there. On the other side. And the same on, on this side. Try and get that nice and shiny. All that stuff off there so the solder will stick. A little better. Yeah, and I'm just gonna, I just got it set on there a little way. So I got a socket here, deep socket. And I'm just gonna gently tap that down. I wanna make sure that these tabs that stick out, this one and this one, are going to sit down in the little recess that you see there. I got it lined up to fall right into there. Just take your time. I'm holding the socket quite tight to the top of this and I'm just tapping it. I don't want to impact the, um, it's just plastic or it's some type of porcelain maybe. You don't want to break it. So, almost there. There, and I've got that down. And what I did was I took these and I, I bent the end of that piece of copper cable. I uh, bent it around both terminals here and I just got to solder them. So I'm going to clean that up and solder it. And get that done. I oh, also put the bearing on here. Tap that down. So that's all in there. Alright, so the electric uh, soldering gun I have isn't getting it hot enough. So I'm going to try this with the torch. I've got um, the solder I'm using is um, this here is Brunzomatic electrical solder, silver bearing rosin core electrical solder. Okay. Let's just see if I can get this warmed up without hurting anything. Clean enough. Might be okay. Let's try that. Try the other side. This one here. Oh. 
Uh, might be okay. It looked like it was sticking there. 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 Okay. This one. I'm going to try this one again. I just I don't think I got it hot enough. Let me see here. I got them pretty clean. I think it's clean enough. There it goes. Start to melt. Yeah, that should be it. There. Okay. As hot as I want to get that. Okay, let's let that cool a bit. Uh, we'll check it. All right, now uh, while I'm waiting for that to cool, that soldering, I've uh, cleaned this up, got all the rust out of there. Okay, and we got the old bearing and the new bearing, and I checked them for size and I checked the numbers so they're compatible. I did the same thing with the little one too, the old, the old one. Okay, so I got that hole. I'm just gonna wipe that out a bit. And then I've just got a little bit of uh, little oil here, just a little bit of persuasion. Put it on there. And these don't have an up or a down. So anyway is good. Sit it in there gently. I got it sitting as square as I can. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit this on the bench and hold it. I'm just going to tap a little on one side, a little on the other. A little on this side, a little on that side, back and forth. Back and forth, it seems like it's going in straight. Just gently tap it in. I think it's home. Turn it over. And it is, it's home. So let's make sure it turns. Yeah. Alright, now we'll put our little retainer in there. Okay, now I'm gonna put uh, the retainer in. This little tang here goes in that hole right there. Actually it could go it could go either way. Yeah. It'll line up and, and either way. A bit of oil. I put a little oil on these bolts as I put them in. Might help it the day it wants to come out again sometime. And, and that's that. And I'm going to take this worn out. Look at that pressure. <laughs> That's seen better days. There's still enough on here to clean this up. Okay, so what we're going to do here is your voltage regulator with the brush holder. So we've got uh, it's a T20 Torx, and it's the same um, size that holds it, the voltage regulator to the alternator. So there's just two little little bolts right here there's one the brush holder and the orientation is like that you can see the mark on here where it was this little protrusion sticks down this way so I put the wire up through the hole and up it comes through the hole and then the, the bolts line up and that little piece of wire is going to come out once we're all done uh, it just holds the brushes back for now there's a spring behind each brush, and uh, that just holds it uh, holds them in place. Because otherwise, you couldn't put it together. You'd be fighting that these would be out the whole time. They'd be you'd break them off. Okay, that doesn't have to be too tight. So there it is. There's the voltage regulator with the new brush holder installed on it. Okay, I'm just going to set that aside for now. And there's another job to do. Um, 
This is the old brush holder. I can set that aside. I have a habit of keeping all my old parts when I do stuff, at least until I've put the thing back together and I know it's running. And you know, then you can discard it. But I always keep everything because sometimes you never know. You have to backtrack and you, you know use something over. All right. So the bearings in here. The retainers in here. Our slip ring is soldered onto here. We got the little bearing here. So this this goes in the front cover first. Alrighty. So we've got got the back cover sitting on here. Three bolts in it. The stator is starting to go into the front cover and I'm just going to go around uh, gently a little bit on each bolt a couple of turns, couple of turns, couple of turns like that until it until the uh, the stator, the edge of that casing comes up with the front cover. Yeah. Okay, I got the, the cover bolts nice and snug and I've turned it around in the vise so I can roll the shaft over here. The rotor spins freely. It's not hooking up on anything. It sounds good. Alright, so now what remains is to put the voltage regulator in and the brushes, of course. Okay, so let's see. That should be fine like that. You can see the slip rings there nice and new. So you've got your voltage regulator. See here, voltage regulator and the new brushes, the brush holder that we put on there earlier. And uh, like I say, there was nothing wrong with this alternator so far as output, so I didn't see any need to buy a kit with a voltage regulator. It uh, seems like it was working fine. So, okay, the brushes are in, the pin is here. We're just gonna lay that in there, that in first a little bit. Set it down gently. And we've got four Four little bolts. One, two, three, and four. That one. That one. Nice and snug, okay. Now, so I'm going to take the pin out. See it right there? Let's see if we can get in on that pin a bit. Now uh, we've got this tightened down, so we're going to pull out this pin that holds the brushes back. You hear a click. One, two. There it is. Spins freely, sounds good. Okay, we've got to put the, the other thing, the last thing we've got to do is put the, put the pulley on it. So we've got the pulley here. I think I'm going to clean it up a little bit with the wire brush first and then we'll, we'll put that on. Okay, so I got that tidied up a bit. Everything there looks good. Set that on there. We've got the lock washer. Still looks good. And we've got the nut. And what I gotta do is I gotta go over to where my air compressor is. It's not right here at this bench, and then I'll I'll put that on with the air impact, I'll tighten it down, and that should be it. Okay, just to tighten up that nut. That seems pretty good. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Almost. One more step. Probably the most important step to make sure that this is going to work well. I'll show you in a second. And like I said, yeah, one more step. I mean, you know, if you really want to make sure this is going to work right, one, one more step. This is probably the most important step of all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with uh, some brake cleaner. And I'm going to paint it because I like things pretty. So uh, I'll let you know what that looks like in a minute. And there it is. Look at that. Ain't that nice? Over and out. Okay. Uh, like, share, comment, 
subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye now.